Hey everybody, uh, it's me, Joseph. I'm going to show you how to draw a lobster in paint. Um, I haven't done one of these in a long time. Uh, last time was when I was still in Art Academy, San Fran, San Francisco. Um, it's been a while. I graduated. I've been doing a lot of important things. I was working with... Um, I've been doing important things. I was working with uh, Bethesda. I was doing a lot of the concept art for Skyrim. Uh, they called me up and they said, Hey, uh, Joseph, we've seen your, your tutorials. We've seen your work. We'd like you to come. Uh, we'd, like, we'd like it if you came over. We'll fly you down. Uh, we'll buy you a house. And... Uh, they basically just wanted me to come over there because their guys weren't good at all. That's what they said. Uh, but, yeah. that That's what's been going on. I, I got about $2 million from that. So, you know. Um, but anyway, this is a tutorial on how to draw a lobster. And uh, a lot of you might know, why a lobster? Why, why, uh, why a lobster? Well, um, because, you know. A lot of people don't find it that easy to draw lobsters uh, especially not in paint I mean I use I use uh, more advanced versions of paint uh, paint 2.0 is one of the best ones in my opinion um, a lot of people would disagree with that they, they would rather go with paint 3.0 but I like paint 2.0 the best because paint 2.0 allows for uh, better saving systems um, so uh, without further ado, <laughs> we're going to uh, draw a lobster. So you're going to want to start out with the brush tool, um, brush, standard one, on this size right here. It's, it's just thick enough, but it's not that thick, and that's important. So uh, we're going to start on the main body. Um, lobsters kind of look a bit like a beetle, but they're under the water. Oh shit, that's horrible. Hold on. It's okay. Just gonna wanna draw a big flat flat body there. Smooth strokes of the mouse. And um then you wanna draw the secondary layer. go it's uh, important okay just like that you want to draw the legs Those lobsters have f or most lobsters uh, not the South African Galapagos lobsters, but the the ones in uh, South America have at least this many legs, I, I, I think. I'm not sure. I, I just remember the last time I saw a lobster was way back in uh, Florida. I was still living in Florida. So lobsters have um, 12 legs. Just want to straighten that out there. Get some ears. And uh, you got most of the lobster done. Um, most of it. It's not completely done yet because lobsters do have pinchers uh, that they use to pinch um, incoming incoming threats. They I saw a lobster pinch a seagull before, right on its right on its head. It wasn't very nice, but it's what happened. So we're gonna draw these pinchers come out over their head.
just like that, and just like that. Two pinchers. Um, this is actually coming along pretty well. I mean, this is. I didn't do a practice or anything. This is how it just turned out. You see why Bethesda wanted to hire me? Because I'm really, really. I don't want to toot my own whistle here, but Bethesda's really nice. And I'm really nice. So they're like, hey. Come make Skyrim. So I went over there and made Skyrim. But anyway, we're gonna give it more textures. Give it some ribs. Most lobsters have a like a set of twelve ribs. So it's um six on both sides. Give it a better neckline. Lobster. Oh yeah, I forgot the feet. They got these weird uh, bill bills on their feet. They're like, it's interesting. Lobsters, you know. That's why they're the number one most predatory animal in the sea. We're almost done, basically. Um, the lobster isn't that hard to draw, as you can see, but there's still a lot of details to be done. <coughs> Just want to add some details on the face, like that. Give it a tail. some antennas. And there you go, you pretty much you're pretty much done with your lobster at this point. It's um, the next most important thing is ro lobsters are are red. Lobsters are red. So you're going to want to go to this tool, the fill with color tool, it looks like a a, um, a cup with red paint coming out of it, well, yeah, red paint, which is funny because we're doing lobster, lobsters are red, it's like they already knew, it's like they already knew what we wanted, that's really nice of them, okay, uh, this part can be a little tricky, just want to find a a, stru a, stru like a structural location, and I'm gonna say right here. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Put just just start filling it in, you know, fill in all the areas that uh, you can. Doesn't have to be perfect, you know. Oh, it's not perfect. Oh, just just control Z, that it's fine. Oh, it's not perfect. Um, remember, oh. Remember that. And you'll be as successful as me. Oh, one day. Um, I like to imagine my lobster's blue eyes. So I always color in the eyes like blue. Shit, I forgot the arms. Just color in the arms. And um, this is pretty much what you expect when you're drawing a lobster. I'm going to put a little bit more detail into this. Bring up the uh, tail on this side, like it's coiling around. Because they have, uh... The lobsters do have stingers on their tails. They kind of look like... Like this, th one that's not in the ready position. So that's its uh, stinger. Slash suction cup. See, what what lobsters do in the, is they, they slap that on you. Probably your, most likely your face. And they inject their proboscis into your face, and their long, uh, their long tongue sucks your juices out, sucks your blood out, while little pores on the uh, on the proboscis drip uh, drip this green goo out, so it it gives you 
they're they're injecting you with their viruses and their babies while sucking your blood out, and so it's like a double uh, double use. So finish up the de oh oh no uh, finish up the detail here. Just gonna fill this part in a little bit. It's gonna cause a little, couple issues, you know what I'm saying? So, just like that. Probiscus is usually gray, but I'm gonna make it a little more gruesome. Put some blood on there. There we go. Yeah. And I'm gonna put it in its, uh, uh, natural habitat too, which is gonna be um since we already got the feet down, we don't gotta worry about placing them anymore. We just gotta worry about placing the, the terrain. But lobsters usually live in plains, like uh grassy plains. So I'm gonna draw one of those. You don't have to, like especially if you're framing an image. But you can, I like doing it, you know, it adds a little bit of something and makes it seem more like flowing, like, oh yeah, a lobster, I've seen those before. So you're going to want to just scribble it out, you know, grass isn't perfect, so you don't have to, you don't have to worry about filling up many gaps, I mean, grass is nature, nature isn't perfect, so. And, uh. Look at this detail I'm doing. Man. You, you want to you morph the grass to him stand like it's over and around his feet. And it, it makes it look more like, oh, he's standing on that grass. He's standing on that grass. You know? It's not just like, oh, grass. He's standing on that grass. He's making it uh, crouch down. So that's pretty cool, I think grass right there. And there you go, you're pretty much done. I mean, there's not really much to do with lobster. Um, I like putting my signature on, on pictures now. So I'm just gonna put my signature down draw some mountains just like that beautiful mountains and uh, there you go you know you've drawn your lobster now it's time to save it Just save it as uh, lobster one, and any of your saved photos, and uh, that'll conclude this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, I, I like to show these videos, but I've just been so busy working on Skyrim and uh, you know coding and developing the game that I've just been too busy to make these these painting videos. And, um, yeah, I hope this video helped you if you're trying to draw a lobster. You now know exactly what to do, you know? Um, don't fall, don't do any of the, uh, any, anything fancy, any tricks. Just go for the lobster. You get the tricks done later. And, um, there we go. We're good to go. I'll talk to you later.